gonna, if you stand over here, there's like, it would, even if it ricocheted, it would go probably. <laughs> that bamboo over there good morning everybody and welcome to the channel hope that you guys are having a great day today is a really really exciting video something that is going to set us up for like incredible content for the whole spring and summer and, and fall and basically for the rest of my youtube channel's existence that is going to be awesome and today's upload i have to say is brought to you by and made possible by the cove speaker now as you guys know the cove speaker has been a longtime sponsor of the channel and they do make a really good product sorry you're staring into the sun yeah it's the cove speaker and I have made a couple videos with this speaker in it before. So if you guys are in the market or maybe you're not in the market and you just think it looks cool and you want to buy one, use the link below for a massive discount. CoveSpeakers.com slash StreetSpeed717. That is CoveSpeakers.com slash StreetSpeed717. It's got great sound for the size and it's a lot less expensive than the other ones on the market. This is our second one and it's made it through multiple trips to the beach and I've had it now for about it's probably five or six months. Happy to report it's still working great. It's also got an indoor outdoor mode. And like I said, we use it especially in the summertime out of the pool or on trips. It's a tiny little speaker. I'm surprised it can get that loud. In fact, love my Cove speaker. If you guys want one, definitely check them out. Use the link down below, the first link in the description. And like I said, they support me. So if you want to support them, that'd be awesome. What we're doing today is we are going to a big open field that uh, Bobby and I, Bobby is RF Racing on YouTube, longtime friend of mine. Uh, pretty much everybody else you've seen on YouTube that I've made content with, like I've met them after YouTube. Bobby, I've known for 10 plus years now, and I finally got him to make a channel. Um, and we want to make a lot of content coming up for good weather. And like I said, mainly the summer and spring, but really the fall and the next winter too. Um, so we acquired a piece of property somewhere and it's going to be epic. Without further ado, let's load up the quad and we'll go. actually might fit in the bed completely. No, no, it's gonna be just, just short, but it's pretty close. So we're rolling up and as you can see, this piece of land is literally in the middle of nowhere. There is a little house built on it, but nobody lives there. And we actually know the guy who owns it. Um, and we just never really thought, he actually let us make a video here before one time. And we just never really thought like, what if we offered to actually buy it off of them or at least to lease it off of them. And uh, you can see we're already, <laughs> we're already having some fun with it. Um, but yeah, and, and this is it. It's gonna, it's a huge area. It doesn't look like much, but it's 17 acres. We got 17 acres. There's Bobby. And it goes all the way, all the way over past that tree line. You can't even see it. So, I mean, it's really got a lot of potential. And I mean, think of all the fun videos we could make with this. It'd be freaking awesome. What do you think, bud? I'm ready to go. This is exciting, dude. It's pretty cool, dude. This is I'm very, gonna... very exciting. I mean, we got a lot of work to do, but yeah. it should be worth it. Yeah. Right. Love it. I went back there, dude. Oh, my God. What? I got the truck all scratched up. Did you? I was just running through shit. Like, I was like, <laughs> well, yeah, of course. Now this is gonna be epic. Oh, my brake is still on. I mean, that's Bobby, RF Racing. I introduced you in the uh, beginning. And uh, this is his Dodge Dakota project truck he picked up for, you paid like 500 bucks for this thing? Yeah, it's 500 bucks, um, and it, it runs like it's worth 500 bucks, but. It's been getting you from point A to point B though. That's, that's all that matters, man. Like your red interior. Oh yeah. It's very red, dude. There's a lot it of is, red going on. Red. Yeah, it's strange. It seems like the guy got like a Mako like paint touch up on this. You can see like the, what Dodge or Chrysler or whatever had like way better paint underneath and then he got something ridiculous. So uh, <laughs> yeah, he liked red. I love how the old, like the 90s and it just, oh, we'll make the whole thing red. Yeah, that's cool. No, no contrast whatsoever, just all red. I brought the quad because I'm not going to be uh, going through weeds and bushes and trees with this truck, which is actually uh, Whitmore's truck that I'm borrowing. But uh, I did bring the quad so I can scout out a proper location. So down that way is another 
a big pond. There's a little pond up there. So we've got two ponds to play with, which is pretty cool. I don't know how deep. That one they say is much deeper. I don't know how deep either one of them is though. And our best bet, I think, for like level dry ground is gonna be right through there. So we're gonna check it out. Let me get my GoPro Hero 6. I'm gonna set up the Hero 6 as the uh, scouting camera and the 7 will be in my pocket. All right, in three, two, one. Good to go. This uh, little stake right here signifies that, and then it's all uh, farmland. But it's a pretty, pretty long way from where we parked to where it is here. I don't know how long 17 acres is. I wouldn't really be surprised if it was like a quarter mile. number one now this is apparently I hear Bobby back here with the <laughs> with the Dakota apparently this is the uh, shallow one this is really cool though I love like exploring shit and this is awesome this is gonna be a really cool thing so the idea is like I mean we can off-road in all this that'll be really sick and then uh probably clear out some area that's relatively flat and dry like we don't I mean like water is fun but we don't want it to be too crazy wet we don't want it to be like a swamp i hear him back there he's doing something quad sitting there looking so cool love the raptor the baby raptor might not have the big raptor anymore but we got the baby lake number two it's pretty easy to like find your way around this property with the trails and everything but this is uh, apparently the very deep one guy said like 20 feet <clears throat> which I feel like that's really hard to believe. <laughs> I feel like there's no way this little lake is 20 feet deep, but it might be. Oh. Oh. Well, for the moment, we can stand on it. So we got a little hunting tower up here too. Now, apparently a hunter does use this in season, so we can't... Well, I mean, we can use it at the same time, I guess, but that's gonna put a damper on his hunting, I believe, with all that noise going on. So we probably won't. So what is that, like October and uh, what, whatever other seasons there are? I don't know, I'm not a hunter. Up 
again, you're the third up the ladder. <laughs> wow. This is a pretty elaborate little fort here. Interesting. So yeah, there you can see a pretty good view of everything. The truck is over there by the house. These are all sliding windows. It's pretty know, where do you think would be the best spot to, uh, to do this? I think over there. Yeah? Or like over here, looks nice. So quiet. What's that bamboo over there? I think that's bamboo. Really? Don't you think? I can't see shit down here. I'm sure it is. <laughs> well, see, people plant that shit. Oh, yeah, it and, is. And then it grows like crazy. Like, you can't stop it. Apparently. I don't know. I don't know much about bamboo, but that's what they say. Important to point out that we had permission to go in the towers and everything else. So we didn't just like come upon this guy's property and start trespassing all over. All right, we're gonna just shoot the uh, the bed here. Like right through here? Yeah, I guess. That looks about right. Yeah, if you stand at a, you shoot downward through there, you should miss everything else. Not that it matters. I mean, you could hit the frame. It's not gonna go through that, I don't think. It, mm, no, not, not a nine mil. All right, not that so round. if you wanna stand like right here. Uh-huh, where's your camera at? The Dodge Dakota is definitely bulletproof. That has now been proven beyond any shadow of a doubt. Yeah, that's hype, dude. Awesome. That's hype. All right, on to the engine. I don't think you got a hole, dude. There it is, yes! <laughs> There oh it is. Oh my god. There we go. There's a hole. There's a bullet hole. Dude, this is rust uh, removal. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's rust removal. Just fine. keep shooting my frame. You know, that was the last that was the last round. Well, there we go. I'll be damned. That's really kind of sad though. So it's not bulletproof after all. So as you can see right now, it's still a bit of a work in progress and we're not exactly sure like what, what we're doing and where we're clearing stuff out. We're not really sure what we're gonna do yet exactly, but we have a space and that's all that matters. So, you know, any off-roading we wanna do, like truck tug of wars, uh, reviews where you need off an off-road spot, um, you wanna blow something up, we have a place. That's all that matters. We got a place to do that. But I finally buy a cheap truck or maybe even a Humvee. I'm looking at a lot of different options right now. Some really cool stuff. Um, I have a whole area where I can do anything to it. And uh, now that Bobby has a truck and he has a channel, it's going to be a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this upload, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Take care and have a great night.